Diva spoken. spoken. So what really happened with Stone Boy and the whole mic going going off? I think uh, the mic going off is, is something which is even, I mean, of a myth to the, the sound people. I've heard Mr. Kwachi uh, speak about that. And from his perspective, he was even using maybe the sound guys at the backstage we put off the mic at a point because it, some two are saying that at a point where that confusion ensued, mm -hmm. those talks, because there were a lot of mics on stage, those talks were going into the mic and they didn't want the rivers to hear what was going on on stage. That's mm -hmm. why maybe the mics were off at that point in order not to transmit those, I mean, petty mm -hmm. squabbles on stage. And I basically, it was like, DJ Sarkoli, when I spoke to him, he told me after Stoneboy was out to be, that was the original plan, but they got that plan altered. Mm -hmm. So uh, Minor was on stage mm -hmm. just waiting for Stone to finish for them to set. So it was then they quickly moved because they had done the change. They quickly moved to go and set up. So DJ Mensa went to set up and it seems he saw Chief, who both of them have confirmed they are friends, they've been friends for, I mean, a very long time, and they call themselves brothers. So when he saw him, it was like, he, according to uh, uh, DJ Mesa, he was playing with him because he feels, I mean, he's a friend. But unfortunately, it seems what he, he, he was saying didn't go down well with uh, hmm. Chief, who took offense to those things what he was saying, and he decided to confront him from his word. And DJ Mensah said he held his neck with a fist in hand. So, a head so, so uh, that is what really st started the whole confusion. So as soon as that happened, some of the bean guys, the security and other people moved out there. And uh, South Korea's team, people from South Korea's team also moved out. That's where we saw Engine going up there. And he said he was going to calm the situation. However, when he got there, the, the, the thing had already been settled by their organizers. So what happened was that they had to, I mean, get off stage. It was at a point Stoneboy couldn't focus because mm -hmm. when they dropped the apotheki, he started performing, he turned back and seeing what was happening. And I, I heard Milzy nearly even fail because like the, the squabble which was going on, yeah, Milzy was it, it was not, that night. It, it wasn't easy for him to even continue to play, so they had to stop everything for Stoneboy to leave. But he decided to come and thank the, the crowd, and uh, uh, he said nobody can force him, off, force him off the stage. And he felt that his performance was interrupted, coming from his team. And clearly, no artist would be happy to, to, to see this happen to him on set. However, I think uh, judging from both sides, that's DJ Mensa and Chief, Charles, uh, mm -hmm. Chief Styles, I think at times some of the handlers, we need to exercise constraint and patience. In some instances, especially when the outcome or the consequence of our little action can distract or derail our artists. Because why are we there? We are there for the interest of our artists. So we need to be measured in whatever we do, especially yeah. if those things have the tendency to disrupt that beauty our artist is putting up. Because at the end of the day, if he had exercised some level of restraint, maybe Stone would have finished with the apotheke because it was the last one. And all of these things wouldn't have happened, you understand. And I think maybe too, if Mensa and others had stayed back. Because Stone normally when, when somebody team. finishes, yes. it's not, uh, there right is a space. Yes. It's not right away that a new mm -hmm. person will come. Mm -hmm. So they could have held back, stayed for Stone to finish. But obviously they think Stone had overstayed. For Stone to, to finish, for them to go. And that point, uh, Chief was saying it was when he got onto stage, that's where they told him the earlier time given had been adjusted. And ah. he should pass on the message to Stone Boy, which he said, now nah, at this point, he can't pass on the message to Stoneboy. So there was miscommunication at that point because the organizers wanted to cut the 45 they had earlier given to him, which maybe the message did not get to him. That's why I'm sure 
if he had gotten the message, he wouldn't stay on stage. Yeah, for but that was, long. I think George Tom was home, and there was a point where he said, when was when the song was about to be played, yeah. into, the, into future. the future. He said, "This is my last last one. song." So me thought Tom was about to leave, and then yeah. there's a another band, and yeah. they found like about three more songs before this whole issue happened. So it's it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate yeah. that this thing is still happening in our industry. But so I now. like how both artists handle it. I mean, because the the fans, everybody, the fanatics were trying to play them into and then the, Mugis, the picture. Mugis statement However, in the middle of his performance, Sakuri and Stoneboy stayed out. I'm sure it was because of an experience he, he had backstage, because clearly he was to perform at a certain time, and he felt he didn't get the opportunity to perform. Somebody came in, and mm -hmm. they had to, and definitely they will hear voices and other things backstage. So clearly, it will be coming from an eyewitness point of view, which yeah. I wasn't there to. I mean, to be able to really? measure yeah. the kind of things he said. But yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, what I want us to take from is the cracks of his own, the things he said, that he's talking about unity. Let us unite, let's stop the bickering, let's stop the fighting backstage. Because if you have had the opportunity to be at backstage, at times it's chaotic, mostly between the teams. Yeah. You understand? People, I, I said, like, people don't want to, like, concede. People don't want to be mm -hmm. considerate at backstage. Yeah, everybody gonna, wants everything. Uh, so we, we, that culture needs to be refined a little because at the end of the day, Charlie, like, yeah. it'd be, it be, it be, it be life. You want They're having some, some, some life. They said they have to. But I think there was a talent. Yeah.